yes or no. Hold your yes or no question in your mind. My voice is going funny today. Um, yes, yeah, so hold the yes, no question in your mind. Welcome back to Hope Tower Daily. My name's Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England. This tarot reading is between you, the universe, and your intuition. Hold your yes, no question in your mind. I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly for angels, offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. I've been drawn towards this one. Okay, so we've got the Five of Swords, which is picking the battles wisely. We've got the Queen of Swords, reverse slap bang in the middle. And then we've got the Star. You're picking the wrong battle. You're picking the wrong battle. Um... The Five of Swords is sometimes walking away, sometimes running towards it and fighting and swinging for it and winning. But the Queen of Swords is reversed. She's misjudged this. Um, you're fighting the wrong battle. It's a no. But because you, you've, you've put your energy into the wrong thing and I don't know what it is. And we've got the Star, which is also an Aquarius. If you're an Aquarius female, this is probably your reading. Um, the star is all about listening to the environment, having that moment of cleanse, cleansing and healing and letting go. There's something here you're not quite ready to let go of. You're still ready to fight it out. And it's almost like you're fighting a losing battle with whatever it is. And the more you fight it, the more, more infuriating it's going to get because you're fighting the wrong battle. And you're not going to get anywhere with it, whatever it is. Ten of Cups reverse, the Page of Wands reverse. Someone's being really very selfish and someone's really let you down. Um, the Page of Swords is someone that's let you down. The Page of Wands reversed is someone's been quite selfish towards you. To do with love, the Ten of Cups reversed, unhappiness, storminess. It's almost like you're fighting for their attention. You're fighting for an apology or you just want to, you know, let, let rip on them. They really let you down. But however it is that you're choosing to fight this battle, you're fighting the wrong one. Um, yeah, Queen of Pentacles reversed. The Five of Cups learning from the past. The Page of Pentacles, this is a learning experience from you. This whole situation is making you feel really insecure. With the Queen of Swords reverse, she's like really scary, very intimidating, but she's full of revenge, bitterness, anger. It's driving her. The Queen of Pentacles reversed is insecurity, conflict. It's like wanting to fight with everyone and everything because you want this person back or you don't like the way they've treated you and they've really let you down. I can feel how much they've let you down, but... However it is that you're dealing with this at the moment is the wrong way. The Five of Cups is trying to help. The, the Five of Cups and the Page of Pentacles is going, right, okay, what can we learn from this so that we don't do this again? You may well have, like, blown this, like, bl thrown hand grenades, been really mad. You may have sent whoever it is loads, loads of messages. Um, you may be, like, out for a revenge. We've got the Justice card balance coming back in again, which is nice. I see the Three of Pentacles. You're going to get through this. There's someone new coming in, by the way. And you're going to have movement. You could possibly have a house move in the next 12 months with the Knight of Wands sat there. The Three of Pentacles is grounding you back down again, bringing you back. Like It's almost like you've had all of this fiery en energy, like, rah, I need to get it out, I need to get it out. And you've been putting all this energy into whatever it is you've been doing. I don't want to read your messages because I'd probably cry. <laughs> I'm quite a wuss. I'm a big wuss when it comes to... I don't argue. I just can't argue. Um, but your balance is going to come back in. Let karma take care of this. I think that's what the justice card is telling us. Let karma take care of this. You put your energy into you. Um start making plans for your future i do see a house move for you whether you like it or not relocation house move something like that change a job even and there's the knight of wands 
I'm someone who won't make you feel like this. <clears throat> so that's a quick yes, no reading, isn't it? I hope it helps in some way. If you feel this reading was for you, put like on the video. Let me know that you claim it. I'll see that someone out there has claimed a message within this. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way. I can really feel your rage. <laughs> like this simmering like volcano. I don't know if your volcano's erupted or it's about to. Oh, goodness. This person really let you down. Really, really let you down. You've, you've totally, like, the way that you feel, you're okay to feel like that. Just put it, let karma take care of it. Let karma end up in a prison cell. That's what it feels like. I'm going to wrap you in another bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way. Um, if you've made it to this point, you're now part of the Purple Heart Gang. If you see Purple Hearts in the comments, you now know what they mean. There are other people that make it to the end of the reading. So if you know, you know. I'll see you soon. 